And so you're going to have to find the spot where you got your kill. Okay, so I just overshot it. Should be around here. Let's go ahead and trim that. Delete this part here. Use this tool here, the side tool, to move it over here. Let's just push it back. Okay. So I want my clip to end about here. So let's move it back a little bit. These are frame by frame, and you're going to use them quite a lot for this tutorial. Okay. So now we'll start thinking about where we want the gun to flash and how it's going to look. So, for this demonstration, I just go there and where I want it to end. I say I really want it to end about here. I say actually there. There seems quite reasonable. It's going to take a little bit of time, so you need to be patient. And the outcome won't last for very long, so it's more about having the patience to actually do it. So first we're going to pull up effects, and so one of the effects that we're going to use is, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go take out all the branches, because I want this to be one clean line, and move the wave scale down, that way you can see it's just one thin line. Now I think it might be start, no, 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 sorry, it's end. So on end, you're just going to want to uh, make the width pretty much the same as the start. So it's about one. So we'll change that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to save it and save this project. Now the next thing that you're going to have to do is a major decision, and I think for the purpose of this video, I think I'm going to choose A. So as you see that, and you can see the middle here. It retains its color it's around white, it's sort of white. So if you want, if you didn't want to change that, just go on to core. And say for example, you choose finish color. So you can see this, you get this kind of full-on orange streak. It's nothing too crazy. I quite like that. So we're just going to line it up and zoom in. Turn zoom in. Just use the mouse wheel. There you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide one to the right by the next frame. And so we're just going to hit the slice tool, just right about there. That's the next slide on. And we click to the slide on the right. Then we pull open the effect. Lightning electricity, as you can see, it's moved. So we're just going to pull that there. And zoom out using the mouse wheel. And place it alongside the gun. Okay. Now uh, don't forget to save just by hitting up top. And so again, next frame. And this is what I'm talking about with patience here. Just go ahead, slice again. So the trick is, it's a little tip. Um, if you did copy this exactly, why I had the entire block rather than slicing, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to slice every frame, frame by frame. Is because it it leaves the last memory of the of the effect. So say for example the slightening electricity, I don't have to paste a new one in, which is very helpful and I think it was my first time mistake of doing that by not uh, by not acknowledging that actually if I just left it whole open then it'd be so much easier for me to do. Okay, so as you can see it's gonna progress quite a bit more now. At this point you wouldn't see too much, just repeat the same step. Go ahead, slice, click on the right hand side, open up the effect, lightning electricity, just make it slightly longer now. Make sure it fits across the gun exactly where you want it. Move it again, slice, as you can see, it changes. And you're just going to want to repeat this. You can zoom in, you want it to be a bit more accurate, especially if it's very close to the person who's watching it. If it was further around like this door frame, then it doesn't matter too much. But since it's a gun, it's quite important. It's the focus 
I guess you could say, so it's quite important. So do the same thing, slice, click, open up your effects. Now, again, like I said, I did really want this to be quite accurate, so I could just skim over this, but I'm not going to, so I'm just going to copy and paste here. Actually, sorry, that's a lie. I'm going dupli to duplicate this, so just click here, Control D to duplicate. Now, go on and move this. You can zoom in again. And I have mine like that. And then control D again, duplicate it, pull it across. This way it's a bit more accurate, I guess you could say. So again, move one frame to the right, slice, click, go to your effects and see whether they need to move. So this is again where it's gonna get a bit tiring to do because knowing this section that we chose it's a little bit more difficult than if it was standstill because uh, Legion is pulling up his gun, he's pulling up his uh, SMG and so the lines are also going to have to uh, to follow the movement while also growing so I'm going to do that again, control D pull that up there now as you can see this section here it's a little curved, so if we increase the wave scale and find the seed, that looks alright. There you go. So it kind of follows up. Okay, so what you can do is you can move that across. Move that across. And this is what I'm saying. We'll have to move practically everything all the work that you just did and make sure make sure that you have sliced it so for example I'm not here and that I haven't sliced it otherwise you will move everything that you've just done before and it's really counterproductive so just make sure that you have sliced the uh, video I think at this point it's pretty self-explanatory it's it's just follow the contour of the, the gun and make sure that you split in the right sections so I guess I'm gonna cut it off here and finish it off in my own time and you can have a look what that looks like